The most important thing that you should be aware of is planning and using your time wisely. To do this, you will need to think about goal setting, time management and assignment planning. At university in Australia, no one will follow you around checking that you have completed the required readings or work. You must be an independent and self-motivated learner. To do this, you will need to ensure that you attend or listen to lectures, complete set readings, revise and take notes from lectures and readings, attend and participate in tutorials, practical sessions and online activities, and complete assessment tasks. That's a lot of work. When you are setting your goals at the start of a semester, think about it this way. You will need between two and five hours of contact time with lecturers and tutors and between five and ten hours of private study time. This is because a minimum time commitment per subject is 10 hours per subject per week. This means that if you have a full-time study load, you will need to set aside 40 hours per week for study. You will also need to plan for work, social and family events on top of this. In terms of goal setting, we are always working backward from the final goal. In most cases, our final goal is to obtain employment in our chosen field. To do so, we have set a goal to complete a university degree and to achieve this, we have to complete all the subjects each year and to do this, we need to complete all assessments per subject per semester. Continuing the backward planning method, we set our end goal and then we think about all the things we need to do in order to get there. Here is an example of a plan that I made when I wanted to run a marathon, even though I had never been running before. We apply the same principle to our assessments and schedule planning. For example, the first thing to do is to download your subject outline from your subject site on LearnJCU and to find out what assignments you have due and when. Then, for each assignment, we plan backward from due date, we set a redraft date, set draft date, set a planning date, set a research date, set a begin the question date. When you compare these dates across the four subject areas, you've got a lot of work to do. The best way to get started is to create a weekly planner where you add your subject lecture times, your tutorial times, studies times, assessment task times, work and social and personal commitments. I highly recommend that you set extra time every other day to work specifically on assignments, essays and reports. For example, some people like to study during the day and set assignment time after dinner in the evening or first thing in the morning when they wake up. The important thing is that by setting aside time that is specifically focused on assignments, you are preventing yourself from leaving things to the last minute. That is a mistake which will cost you significant marks. It is also helpful to sit down with a semester planner and fill in your due dates for each subject. Having all your due dates on one easy to read schedule will enable you to look ahead when planning and to help you prepare for upcoming assignments, quizzes and tests. You also have the option to complete an assignment due dates planner. This will help you focus on what you should be doing in your assessment time that you have scheduled in your weekly planner. After you have set your schedule, semester planner and assignment due dates planner, you should start unpacking the assessments of each subject. This is done by working backward from the due date as we discussed earlier. There are six main steps that you will usually go through and it is important that you don't miss any of these steps. If you are unsure of how to unpack an essay question, you can check out our essay writing basics video at our assignments page. In review, you will need to ensure that you attend and listen to lectures, 
complete set readings, revise and take notes from your lectures and your readings, attend and participate in tutorials, practice sessions and online activities, and complete assessment tasks. For further help, you should read your subject outline carefully, ask your lecturer or tutor, or visit the Learning Advice Desk in the library. You can also access help from the Learning Advisor in your subject and access our resources online. You can also request a one-to-one -one with a Learning Advisor if you haven't been able to find suitable help with any of these methods.